Ani Gavin Dishnikaz, what is your favorite Nana Bush legend? My favorite Nana Bush legend? They're all my favorites. Um, <clears throat> I read a lot. Uh, some of the stories were told by my dad uh, and his friends who were old to me when I was young, you know, and they would sit around and, and tell stories. So some of them came from them, others I read. So there's, and there's lots of teachings in there. When you hear those stories, it teaches you about sharing, about being kind, about not being stingy, those sort of things. Eh? So I can't really think of one particular one of the Nanabush stories. Uh, maybe one <laughs> that comes to my mind is the story about how the woodpecker came to be. If you've seen that one on the website, how the woodpecker came to be. So that it's a good story. It's a good story about you have to be kind to each other. You have to, to share what you have. And in that story, that lady who turned into a woodpecker wasn't kind or anything. So Nanabush kind of did something to that lady. So you go on barbernolan.com and look for that little story and it'll tell you. Miigwech. <laughs>